right, so here it is. Here is the Borat R by BMM, Box Mod Mafia. This is the Goyard, um Anniversary Edition. So the normal Goyard pattern just has, you know, these like triangular, triangular, I don't know, three point cross looking pattern. I don't know what that stems from. I think it's like a fucking handbag design or something. Um, <laughs> and then you have BMM right there and a little like mafia uh, silhouette guy. Here's the fedora hat and the trench coat or whatever kind of jacket. Um, Bow Rat 60R for revised or revision or yeah. Um, so yeah, my old one was a black Goyard and um, I have a review on it. And you'll see it in some of my other videos. Um, it was stolen. I replaced it with this. I paid $700 for this uh, on MMM, uh, Mark's Miracle Mile. It used to be called Mikey's Miracle Mile. Um, or no, Mark's, you know, Mikey's. I think that's what it was called, Mike's Miracle Mile, originally. Now it's run by a guy named Mark. Anyhow, I paid... 700 for my old one and I paid 700 for this one, which is pretty interesting because normally, I mean, the old one was, you know, plain black um, and it was, it didn't, it was a single window opening here. Um, usually these ones, like these colored uh, three window styles, they usually, you know, fetch a higher price. And this being the R, the revision, um, you know, is also like a more, sought after style of it so <clears throat> anyhow uh where could we go from here so the slight differences i wish i had the other one with me to show you um the specific differences uh right off the bat the door uh on this one the door is like it kind of you know comes in tapers in a bit so you got like a little ledge up here at the top and bottom. It's more pronounced at the bottom. I notice it more at the bottom than the top part. Um, I actually like this difference of it. Gives it a little more contour. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, don't mind that one bit. Uh, you got your plug here they all come with. It's a DNA 60. 18650. This one has quite a bit of puffs on it that it had already come with. Um, and you'll notice there's cutouts on both sides for getting your door off. Usually the older BMMs, like here's a 38 special. By the way, this is called, this color is called Bordeaux. Um, it's like a, in the dark, in low light, it looks brown. Um, it's more like a dark, deep red, like a burgundy color. Um, out in the sun, you'll notice a little bit more of like purple hues to it. Um, whereas under like tungsten, artificial light, it seems like more like, um, you know, like a reddish brown, which I prefer. So, and I'm usually using this thing inside anyway. So, all right, this, and this is a sealed, we'll get to this, but this is a sealed uh, BMM. So it's more gloss, it's more shiny, and it's like a protective coating that's over it. So the color won't fade or won't fade as significantly. Also on the back of the door, you have a BMM logo with a little fedora in there. Um, so this would be the, uh, 38 Special by BMM. Uh, you'll notice the height is, like, bang on the same, and this is a 21700, and this is 18650. Um, this color has faded significantly over time. So it was orange copper, and you can see the reddish brownish going on here. But on like the door, I mean, it's almost faded away to black. Um, like and on the struts of it, right in the center here, I mean, this is almost turned to black. Whereas if you look 
in between those wattage buttons, you'll still see the red. So a lot of it has to do with where your hand comes into contact with it. Um, so over time, like the color just rubs off. I mean, you don't get it. It's not melting into your hand like a hot M&M, but uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it fades. Um, and it, a lot of times it makes it look more interesting because um, every one of them is going to fade a little differently and it becomes unique to you and you know it, it gives it a little more of like a, a look you know uh, a vintagey look I guess or something now uh, this this style let me uh, show you one other BMM and the differences between so I already told you this is technically a different color this one, this stash box 2.1 here, this is a, uh, so this pattern is called floral. You got flower, whatever's going on there on the side. <clears throat> this one is called uh, cracked earth. It's distressed. I'm pretty sure it is distressed. Yeah, so this is not coated either. Um, this, this isn't sealed. Um, and this has a nice fade to it as well. And this, this Bordeaux, you know, e each time you get one of these, they're going to be slightly different in the color. And the sealed factor, I'm sure, has something to do with it as well. But also, I mean, just batch to batch, they're going to look different. Because this is also, these are both Bordeaux, and you can tell that the stash box, it just has a lot more, like, purple going on to it. Which, I'm not a big purple kind of person, so I'm glad this looks more reddish, because that's what I'm, you know, would go for more. Um, so, um, the height here, this is a 21700, and look, it's actually shorter than the bow rat. And the bow rat, I mean, I just like the way this is in the hand. I like mods of the shape. Um, you know, I often use the, uh, the Unica and that has a similar shape. You know, the Ion also has that shape, that rounded back and the flat front button on this side, you know, um, that's just a look that I like. For a lot of you guys that don't have a lot of these kind of mods, here it is next to the billet box. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the styling of this is called a three window. You have opening here, opening there, so you can see through it. And if I take this panel off and put the stock panel on, there'll be an opening right here. Um, and that's thus called a three window. Like a Mission Astro is considered a three window. Um, whereas this is a two window. Uh, you got the front, the back, and the side here, the fire button's there, so it can't be a three window. So we're going to do a, a quick look inside it. Um, remember I was saying about this door, how the cutout's on both sides. Uh, this 38 is older. It only has the cutout on one side. I usually keep the cutout on the same side that the USB is at to kind of keep it clean looking. Um, when I have bought it, I thought... I assume that the cutout was just on the wrong side. Little did I know it's on both sides. Um, so <clears throat> all the BMMs have, if you look down there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the glare or the focusing distance, that battery contact, it says Sterling on it. He uses uh, Sterling Silver for all these contacts, which is a nice touch. There's where the wiring is, and they all look like this. Um, so inside, there's your pin. It is adjustable. I uh, wish I could really go look at this. I keep them all the way down, just to unless I have to raise them to prevent any um, juice buildup, which I'm actually kind of dealing with a little bit on my 38. I may have to send it in. Um, up here you, you got your your ring for your uh, flush knot threads. Um, I actually just clean these. It's good to keep your Bora mods clean with um, get some Brazo, Brasso or whatever. Uh, 
put it on a terry cloth and clean this out real good. You'll be surprised how black it is with dirt over time. <clears throat> Get some uh, uh, silver polish and uh, that does sterling silver. Hit this contact. I did that as well. And you'll be surprised. Um, oh, and, you know, hit your base connection here. Like I said, this is a flat head. You can put a flat head in there. Raise it and lower it if you have to. Um, <clears throat> with this revision, he did something to <clears throat> kind of coat this better or seal this up better so that you're going to ha have run into less problems with uh, juice getting down to your chip and frying your chip out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's your fire button. <clears throat> now, this is uh, control panels. These are called Rusty Waters, this version. So you got your fire button right here. And this just works off pressure um, to, to actually make contact with the fire button. Uh, and you got one down here, too. Little do people know, because stock, this comes sealed off. This is flat. Um, but there actually is a second button down here, so you can hit it from the bottom. Fire it like an old mech tube mod if you want. Here's your wattage buttons. And uh, I'll show you the stock uh, panels and stuff as well. So I was talking about these uh, control rusty water panels. Um, my old Borat had ones called Moon Gazers. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of control panels out there for a lot of different Bora mods. Um, for the Delro, the, the Harbor, the Seabot. Um, just about any popular mod, Astro, uh, Billet Box. Now, there are matching control uh, drip tips for his panels. Um, however, this is a different one. This is by the company Defy. Uh, Henry Lopez made this. Um, Defy uh, is run by him and uh, Chris Smitty. This drip tip is called the Smitty, actually. Um, they have a few different style drip tips. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? And, uh, yeah, it matches pretty well. You know, this is called a vo Voodoo Resin. And, uh, quite comfortable. I was debating on this or the Hank style. So, yeah, this integrated drip tip, so you don't have to deal with a flush nut and a separate 510 drip tip. You just screw it all on as, as one piece. And, uh, you know, that just came in this. And, you know, my, the control panels even came in a little pouch like this. Um, however, there are some of the newer control stuff, you actually have like a legit tin that it comes in. So, here's what the uh, this particular bow rack came in. These are called these leatherette pouches. You can actually buy these um, on the, on, um, the BMM website, which is called uh, Captain Chuck's... Flavor Island? Yeah, pretty sure that's what it was called. I've been on there, you know, to buy drip tips by themselves. The older BMM mods used to come in these actual leatherette pouches. Um, this is like a vinyl. I don't even know what the hell this material is, but yeah, I mean, um, this is what the, the Billy Club, uh, Billy Club collab came in. Um, for the street bog. That's all I got left of it. So here's what came with mine. You got your authenticity card, you got a ODB, BMM wrap, and a BMM sticker. Let's take a look at this real quick. So anniversary number five. This is the fifth uh, mod that he made of the Bora R anniversary, and the color is up here. It says Bordeaux. And what do we got? February 2nd. 2023 and um, here's an older this is from my old one um, now there won't be anything written for the serial number if it was if the mod was sent in to be repaired and it just says new board on it or if he has to send you a whole new replacement card he'll just write new board on it so a little lackluster there um, here's what I mean about the window. So these are Defy panels. These are kind of like those moon gazer type look, dimension type look from uh, Control. Um, so you know the stock 
BMM mod actually has round buttons and you'll see how this one is just completely solid and this one has an opening and that's what gives you the whole three window effect there um, these came with the mod when I bought it um, the previous owner had them um, this comes with a lot more than the old BMM the old BMM mods came with um, you actually have two different doors like you did with the uh, 38 special so you have this open door that you can use exposed battery which I'm not a fan of they don't even match now if you leave these things sitting around too um, and you're out in the sun with your mods and the stuff you're not using doesn't get exposed to light <laughs> it's gonna end up looking different so here's your open window here's your closed one this one says BMM on it now you see the bottom pieces were different so you couldn't use that bo bottom fire button um, so you got the battery or the uh, wattage buttons that you ordered or came with and then you got this bar thing here if you want to go this route uh, a lot of options I mean I don't really know if it's all like worth doing but he gives them to you um, this looks like a I think this is a rook tip, the styling uh, drill tip. Uh, I got one of those buttons because the other one's on the base here. And yeah, that's all the accessories. I mean, a lot more accessories than you used to get, uh, which is pretty cool. But that's why I go for the um, control panels whenever possible because, well, I mean, for one, I mean, it's the most reputable. It's the original, you know, brand that did these designs and colors. Um, but I've always had, you know, I never had any issues with the tolerances of them. They've always fit really well. These ones are a little tight, I will admit, compared to all my, of any other time I've had control anything, they've always fit so perfectly. Um, and these aren't, you know, these aren't bad or anything, but I also really like the way that, you know, they're not round fire, uh, fire buttons, you know, they're these like squarish pieces that just flex in i really like that um and of course having the bottom fire button uh just makes it for me so i'm all about having control borat panels even though there's a number of other brands out there now that do similar type panels so like a lot of boreal mods we're gonna do positive down goes in pretty easy and it's Apparently, Charles did a lot of this stuff with the doors because people were just, like, lining them up and slapping them in. Um, I've never done that. No one ever told me not to either. I just kind of figured you should, what you should do is place it down on one end first, right along the edge, line it up, fold it over, and then slap in the other side. That's a proper way to put these, this, uh battery door panel on and off. Here we have a, a clear pro row and you know for this kind of two three window setup uh, a, an all clear um, boro is ideal so you can see right through to the other side. You can always check your juice level no matter what and it kind of looks like your juice is floating there. Um, I actually lowered the pin on this to the base like I said to prevent any juice from getting in there even more so and uh, because when I first lined this tip up when I screwed it all the way down the side I wanted to be showing wasn't showing it was that side so now luckily I've lined it up and it matches better with the panel so um, if you don't need to have your uh, adjustable pin raised up I would have it as low as possible all right and now we're back together with the uh, protocol atom in there, the OG one with a clear cap, firing away, 0.49, 28 watts. Yeah, I mean, so, like I said, this is a sealed version, right? And those other ones, uh, the Distress or Natural or whatever the hell you want to call it, unsealed, non-coated, um, 
They're the original types. Uh, I thought he wasn't going to be doing them anymore. I think you can request it still. So this is the original coating um, that he did, and it was a little more shiny. Just as of recently, he does a different kind of coating now. And you'll see it when some people ask about, you know, if they're looking to buy one, they'll say new coating only, or they want new coating. And what that really means is the newer one is slightly less shiny, and the pat whatever pattern you have may be a little bit more um, obvious or stand out better, is better sculpted, or, you know, it comes through better, I'll say. Um, but this being the older sealant, um, I don't see any problem with it. It work, it's fine by me. And uh, apparently the newer one, uh, you know, it's it'll be less prone to wearing off over time. But I, I still don't see it being a problem. Uh, the older ones, and uh, I'm still happy with it. So just to let you know, you know, there are subtle differences to a lot of these. Um, I noticed any of the colored ones, they do feel better. They just have more texture. Um, they almost feel leathery. But this sealed one, I will say it's not just shiny. It is a little more slick. It is a little bit more slippery. I mean, it's not sliding out of my hand or anything, but if you do get juice on it or something, you are more prone to, uh, you know, it, it's going to be feeling a little more slippery for sure. But when I do refilling, you know, if I have to add juice, I don't have to take this off or take a drip tip out or nothing. I just hold it down, I slide the window back, I put the juice nozzle in there, put some in, slide it back up, clean off any, you know, usually maybe a tiny drop is right here, wipe that right off and it's good to go. That's the good thing about having these perfectly square windows. Um, they're just convenient for that. Um, you see the older, a lot of times the older ones had like the Mickey Mouse ear cutouts, either on one side or both sides for the tab type burrows. Um, they just don't look as pleasing in my opinion, but uh, you know, I guess they're convenient for those kind of burrows if you're big on that, but I'd say these days most people are trying to rock like a clear boro of some kind. You know, King Bow is pretty popular, stuff like that. Pro Rose Bunkers, that's so, kind of my uh, stuff. The Bow Rat 60R. I really like this. Um, I do not regret getting it. It was definitely costly for me. Uh, if you were to get one new, it wouldn't cost you nearly as much. But, um, you know, it's, it's tough to get. Uh, a BMM uh, from BMM. Uh, you just got to be pretty lucky and uh, you know I've been in that group uh, I think March will be two years and you know I still have not I haven't even seen my name on the list as like even close to being like a runner-up or anything so um, you know by four seasons, four seasons, uh, you know, like you do a, a fall master list, a spring, a fall, a spring, you'd have four entries and your probability of getting one, you know, is significantly rises each master list. Uh, so there's that. Um, but, you know, every BMM I've gotten thus far, I've just had to buy aftermarket, uh, you know, buy, sell, trade. So... Yeah, I mean, it's just like, just like my last bow wrap, but a three window and uh, colored, which is nice. Still has that Goyard, uh, Goyard, however the hell you say it, pattern, except this has like the Mafia, whatever, anniversary edition, which is nice. I think that gives it a little extra something, something, a little flair to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can go on and on. Control panels, they're a must. Um, you know, I really like the style of it. Uh, had I had a different one, I mean, there's a bunch of cool colors. Uh, I like the the bright blue, like that royal blue. That's probably my favorite color. Um, not that this is bad either, but, you know, you, you have your favorites. You know what I mean? There's some nice teal ones, moss, uh, emerald. 
you know, uh, orange copper is, is nice, you know. A lot of the brown, reddish leather look, you know, you could either go warm or, or cold, you know, and it, it, there's good options all around the color spectrum, so. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's that. Um, you know, Ryan has a review on a, the Unknown Collab version. I'm not sure if there's too many more reviews on this. Jim VV has a Borat review. I don't know if it's R or not, but either way, I mean, they're around. Um, and, you know, like, subtle differences, um, but overall it's still the same mod, and it's probably my favorite mod. Um, that's why I wanted to replace the one that got stolen so badly, because it's just a great mod. Um, I kind of hate it not having one anymore, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, this Ion 38, the Unica, they're pretty much my go-to mod, so... This is a staple for me, for sure, so... Very glad I got a replacement, and, um... Yeah, that's that. Uh, until next time.